Vanderbilt and Blue Raiders. The Blue Raiders playing for the first time a couple seasons. Swing and a missed by Aston Snyder. He got a lot of rest, so we'll see how far he can go today. Off to a good start with a strikeout of Snyder to begin the night tonight, and then it will be a trip to Texas A&M after this. Swing and a miss. Got him on a pitch away. Two batters and two strikeouts for J.D. Thompson. Swung on and missed. Three batters, three Ks. He's able to get to second on a throwing error. Kind of started the, the Commodore offense that day. Here he takes a four-pitch walk. Decent league for Polk over at first. Opposite way for Aspinall, down for Vanderbilt's first hit. Polk going to take the turn and come to third. Throw is offline. The Commodores have him at the corners with one out. It was a great piece of hitting right there from Espinal. Eight RBIs, including a home run. And Espinal taking off for second on a pitch down. And in there, without a throw, one and two to Davis. Sato hits him with a pitch. The bases are loaded with Davis Diaz coming up. A couple runs in the first game and drove in one in game three. Hammer left field toward the monster. Bangs off the top of the fence. One run is in, two runs will score. Davis stopped at third, a two RBI double for Davis Diaz. Gives the Commodores an early lead. And it looked like that was just a hanging changeup. Davis Diaz right on it. Just missed the home run by about you know, five feet. And Sato wanted that ball a little bit lower. Bangs it off the monster in left field. Commodores able to capitalize with bases loaded. Left side, run will come home. Good work by Holcomb to hit it down to third base. Jennings throws him out, but give him an RBI. As Davis comes in to make it 3-0 Vanderbilt. Fisted down to third, that's a fair ball. Hits off the bag, everybody's safe. It's 4-0 as Diaz comes in to score. It's gonna be a tough play for Jennings. And the inning continues with Vanderbilt putting a four spot on the board in the first inning. Still only one out. Another ball that's not hard hit. Left side of the infield, Snyder will have to put it in his pocket. Base is loaded again on an infield hit by Hewitt. Hiding him in the nine <laughs> hole anymore. I think the, the numbers kind of speak for themselves. Gets an RBI to make it 5-0 on a bases loaded walk. For Vastine, RBI number 25 of the season. To third, it gets past Jennings. Two more runs score. As Poteet and Hewitt cross the plate, seven for the Commodores in inning number one. Two RBI single for Austin, now with 34 knocked in on the season. Polk for the second time in this inning. Jennings charges and throws him out. Runners move up 90 feet to second and third as Polk is out number two. Senior catcher DHing again tonight and takes ball four, and the bases are again loaded for Jaden Davis. Please, 1 1 pitch. Popped up left side of the infield. It's going to be Snyder making the catch to end a long first inning for Vanderbilt. Trying to get some work. This one hit well toward left field. Holcomb back on the warning track, and that ball's gone. Middle Tennessee State on the scoreboard as Cale Benson leaves the building. His second home run at 12th RBI, 7-1. Yeah, it looked like that pitch just elevated, not where Kranzler wanted it to be. And Vincent able to take advantage. But got out of her in a hurry. Take Line a look at the shot. pitch. Yep. Yeah, it looked like that was a, I think it was a cutter. Sometimes when you get that cutter. Smash, but right at Davis Diaz at third base, two gone. Ops director Drew Fan. Popped up, short center field. Hewitt had it all the way, makes a catch. Middle Tennessee retired in the second. Quite an experience for, for Commodore fans and to be a part of it as a player was, was super special. Back-to-back -back trips to the finals in 14 and 15 in the first championship. Braden Holcomb continues to hit the ball hard. A line drive single to left to put runners at first and second with nobody up. Another hard hit ball to the left side. Diaz waved to the play, throw coming in from left field, cut off. He's safe, but they throw back to second to get Holcomb. 
He's the first out. The Commodores do get the run to make it 8-1. to one. Close, but ball four. The inning will see Vanderbilt now have runners at first and second for Jonathan Vastein. Trying to help his pitcher navigate his way through another tough situation. Pulled to the right side and through off the bat of Vastein. Poteet waved to the plate, throw coming in. The tag missed, Poteet safe. Vastein goes to second. Vanderbilt adds another run to make it nine to one. And Poteet, not, not the, the biggest wheels under him, but when you put him there at the top of the order. High fly ball, deep right field. Snyder has a play and makes it. Tagging from third, Hewitt, great speed. Scores easily. Commodores hit double figures in the second inning. It's 10 to one as Austin has his third RBI of the night on a sack fly. On Saturday in game three at LSU, the Commodores took the series. Smoke down wow. to third. Great play by Jennings. Can he get him at first? Wow. Out. Scoop by Phillips. Well done on both ends. That's a heck of a play. Left his feet, able to snag it. Nice job by Jennings. Out to short right field. Polk near the line. That wall gets to you in a hurry. Makes the catch. Dropped into center field as Snyder pokes a two-out single. Get the dangerous Briggs rudder to the plate. You have hits in 28 out of 30 games. You're pretty locked in. Runner on the move. Throw by Poteet. Not in time. Stolen base for Snyder. Makes him 9 of 10 on the season. Swung on and missed is Kranzler. Gets Rudder to chase a pitch away. Poteet completes the strikeout, and the threat is over in the third inning. But I don't know if it's going to be this season or not. <laughs> Espinall right down the right field line. Extra bases. He sends it toward the corner. Double to start the Commodore third. Trying to keep that streak going here. Davis hit by a pitch for the second time. Puts runners at first and second. Gets away from Baranek. He said that Merrill came and picked him up. Payoff again. Runners stay put. It's ball four to Diaz. First three on base for Vanderbilt. A guy like Espinall. Hammered to left field. 13 straight innings with runs as Holcomb brings in two with an RBI single, and Vanderbilt leads 12 to 1. A nice piece of hitting it. The hoop looked like it took up more than the logo. <laughs> Down to third off the glove of Jennings. Everybody's safe as Poteet reaches for the third time in three innings. That's good for second in the SEC, 2-2. Bouncer towards short. Out at second, no chance at first. Run scores as Diaz comes home. Vanderbilt leads 13-1. Hewitt reaches on the fielder's choice. Only able to get one out of those Two ground balls, but this might be another one. See if they can get the double play this time. Off the bat of Vastein. Snyder gets to it. 6-3 double play, and Vanderbilt's third inning is done. Trying to fan the first man he faces as a college pitcher and off to a good start. Keep on rolling. You don't have to worry about prepping the field with the dirt. Swing and a miss. Half dozen Ks for Vanderbilt pitching. Gail Vinson looking for his second extra base hit of the night and may have it. Gets past Holcomb and goes to the wall, so he follows up a solo home run in the second with a two-out double in the fourth. Payoff with two outs. Nice Strike spot. three called. It sure was. Hit that outside corner with a breaking pitch. Hit toward the left side. Got past Jennings. Got past Snyder. Austin on base. A leadoff single. All right, Jennings at third base in the second. Up the middle, the Raiders see if they can get two for the second time and save it first. I think Snyder might have been better off going to the base and trying a 6-3. Andrew trying to continue that inning scored streak, and Espinall has his third hit. It's been up four times in four innings and on base in all of them. Runners at first and second with one out. Over towards second. We'll see if they can turn it this time. Four to six to three. Vincent to Snyder to Phillips. Payoff. Just missed. Ball four. Leadoff man on for Middle Tennessee State. Only their fourth base runner. 0-2 from Huseman. Called third strike. 
fastball right down the middle to retire Snyder. Runner! Runner going. The throw to second in time. He's been just missed for ball four, a second walk of the inning. So he's really able to, to really help me along. Called third strike. Back door with the breaking stuff. You two and two to Holcomb with one out. Strike three called. Hit that outside corner. Good pitch from Underwood. Two outs in the fifth. Strike three called to Logan Poteet. Underwood turns in the first clean frame. Payoff pitch to start the inning. Outside for ball four. That's a smash. Glove by the first baseman Phillips. It rolls away. The flip is in time. Play there. And I think Bastine was safe yeah, at first. Yeah, I do too. I'm over a shortstop. Safe at first. The oven at bat for sure. Smash towards second. A bobble. They get the out there. And Austin Ford is safe at first. Fastine cut down as Rogers goes to third. Runners at the corners with one up. General trying to add to a big lead. This should do it. Hit back toward deep center field. Vinson makes the play as Rogers tags and scores to make it 14 to 1. First RBI of the game for Polk. 1-1 one, one count with Austin Ford at first, and Barcy hits it back up the middle for a base hit. His second as a college player in six at bats, and the inning will continue for Vanderbilt. Out on strikes. Vanderbilt finished in the sixth. Swing and a miss. One out in the seventh. That's 11 Ks for Vanderbilt pitching today. Payoff. Hard hit ball right at Velasquez. Good play. Two gone. He's a strike. Can't get it. Ball four. That pitch hit him. Vanderbilt tries to close it out, and they do. Ginther fans rudder. And the Commodores wrap up a 14-1 run rule victory over Middle Tennessee State.